Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Syncpix. In today's video, we'll get started with the TrueNAS. We'll be using the hardware, we'll install TrueNAS and then we'll be setting up TrueNAS for storage needs. So let me show you how we can do the installation and configuration of TrueNAS. So we'll be installing TrueNAS scale hyperconverged storage having the containers and virtual machines also. I'll be bringing my own hardware to do the TrueNAS scale installation. If we see the minimum hardware requirement, so processor requirement is minimum two core of Intel 64 bit or AMD x86 64 processor 8 GB minimum RAM is required minimum 16 GB SSD is required for the boot and it is recommended to use two identical size devices. I have the three terabytes, two hard drives which are available. So I'll be using that for storage. So I have an old hardware. You can see here, this is my old hardware and I had to get the SSDs. I had to prepare this old system. This is of course 64 bit and two core CPU is there. I have uh, 12 GB of RAM available here, uh, but SSD was missing. So I bought the SSD, but I'll be using SSD for installation of TrueNAS scale. Only three ports are available. So two I'll be using for the storage and one I'll be using for the installation. So here my hardware is now ready. I'll be now downloading the ISO file. So there is download stable release. It is 1.5 GB. So we'll wait for this to complete. I'll be using Balina Etcher to write TrueNAS scale to the flash disk. So I'll be going to Balina Etcher here. I'll be choosing flash from file. And here is TrueNAS scale. Now, of course, I need to choose the target right now. Target is not attached. Let me attach flash disk over here. 8 GB flash disk, which is available. It has detected the flash disk and select. Now I'll click on flash. All right, so flash is completed now. So I'll be just removing the flash disk from here. I'll be inserting into the server where I need to install. And I'll be simply turning it on now. And here, if I show you device configuration, SATA 0 is 3 TB. And here is SATA 1 is also 3 TB. And then I have SanDisk, which is 240 GB, and of course, USB flash disk. So I'll be using SATA 2 for 240 GB for the installation of TrueNAS. For storage, I'll be using these two drives. And I'll be making, of course, the mirroring between both of them to make sure that if one drive fails, I have the backup in another one. And here, I'll be going to boot order. I'll be using USB flash drive and here SATA 2 drive for the boot. First of all, it will choose from flash disk. Uh, once the installation is completed, then it will be loading from the SATA 2 is my 240 GB where the TrueNAS will be installed. Save the changes and exit. I'll just enter for the TrueNAS installer. Now it will start loading. Here, first thing that you see is whether you want to install upgrade or reboot system or shutdown. Of course, I need to install upgrade. Select one or more drives where TrueNAS should be installed. Of course, I could select two drives together if I was uh, having multiple drives for the installation. So I'll be using SDA, ADA2, which is SanDisk SSD plus 240 GB. I'll be installing it over here. Select this and press OK. Now you can see this will erase all the data. Of course, I need to erase all the partition data here and then password for root. So I have entered it and OK. This is newer motherboard in fact, so I'll be using UEFI. Create the swap partition. Right now I have 16 GB available uh, as a primary memory. So I'll be using 16 GB as my swap partition also and yes. And here you can see that the TrueNAS installation on ADA was ADA2 was successful. Please reboot or uh, remove the installation media. So I'll be just pressing OK here and reboot the system. And now I'll just remove this installation media here. And then now the server will be starting. And here you go. So it has given the IP address in case I want to configure the network, I can do it from here. Otherwise, we'll be using the web UI to do the complete configuration of TrueNAS. Continue to the next video and see how we can do the configuration of TrueNAS scale.